Hey ladies, I'm gonna go over all of the items inside of my booty bag and it's essential items that you will need when you go in for your BBL. First item, lipo foam. The lipo surgical foam is very important because when you first have your surgery, the ones that you will have will get soiled with liquid and blood. So it's good to have a replacement. The next item that I have in the bag is very important. These are chucks. And chucks is very important to have because it gets really, really messy. And then you need to have these under you when you lay down. So going between home to your lymphatic massages when you're laying in the car, it's always great to have an extra set with you. The next thing I have are booty wipes. It's very important to be able to clean your butt. So this is a great way to keep your hygiene up with, after your BBL. Wipes are very important because it helps you clean and sometimes it's really hard to reach back around. You have a surgery, you're very sore. So these wipes are really good because sometimes you might even have to floss in order to get those hard to get places. The next item in your kit is your silicone scar sheets. Once your doctor has approved you to use these, you can start using them. We want to reduce the scarring. Arnicare is very good for pain. So once you've had your lipo or any sore injection spots, you massage yourself or have your partner massage you, any of your friends, anybody, they massage you with the Arnicare to reduce some of the pain and inflammation. Peppermint. This is a more natural way instead of taking nausea medications because sometimes you're always overloaded with medicines and peppermint is supposed to help with nausea. So all you have to do is open it up Take a snip or you could even light the candle and it's supposed to reduce nausea. Your kit will also have a pill box. You have to keep track of your pills and make sure that you take them. And it's very beneficial to have a pill box. You can line, fill them all up, have your friend fill them up and then use this. In your kit, you will have a 32 ounce tumbler with the straw. We need to stay hydrated, ladies. It's 32 ounces, and so we have to keep track of how much water that we're intaking because you wanna make sure you keep hydrated. Having the straw makes it very easy to drink your water. It's very important. Your kit will also come with two sets of compression socks. It's very important to wear your compression garments, and you want to be able to have a set in the wash, maybe two sets in the wash while you're wearing one. So you have one typically from your doctor, you might order one, but then your kit will also come stacked with two so that you always have them waiting for you. The next items in your kit will be sterile gauze pads. It's always great to have an extra set of these handy. You're not gonna get them from your doctor, but they will be in your kit. So if you have any extra drainage or you want to soften like um, a scar or something is pressing against your garment, Put the gauze pads in between the garment and your skin to protect it so it doesn't chafe, it doesn't rub, and it doesn't cause any pain. You can also put these under your garment if it's digging into you somewhere and it creates an extra layer of protection between your skin and the garment. Gauze pads are great. Tonic Alchemy. So with the tonic, this is a lot of superfoods. We need to help ourselves heal and this is a benefit. This will do that. Also, it helps with your bowels. So like I said, you'll be on a lot of pain medicines and if you use this, I, I promise you, you will not have any issues with that. So what you do is you take one of your favorite smoothies or your favorite juices, take a scoop of this, drink it, and you're done. Everything is great. You have a lot of the um, superfoods. So it's a lot of herbs, probiotics, greens, seaweed, fruits, and vegetables mixed into this one powder. Extra strength Tylenol will also be in your kit. Your doctor will give you pain medicine, but sometimes you might need a little extra. So the doctor has already approved you to take Tylenol, so they will be stacked for you in your kit. Antiseptic skin cleanser. Your doctor may tell you to wash with this a week or a few days before your surgery. So your kit will have it in there for you. It's always great to have it. And, and for me, I used it after my surgery instead of using my regular soap because the soap that you use at home sometimes will have perfumes or other things in it. And you don't want to get that inside of any of your wounds. So it's always great to have this handy. Lineage Lip Sleeping Mask. After surgery, you tend to get dehydrated. So between drinking water, you can also use your lip mask. It helps keep your lips moisturized and stop your lips from cracking. So this is a little extra thing that I use that I would love to throw into the kit for you guys. The other thing in your bag is a washable, reusable under pads. These go on top of your bed. 
So you have your mattress, you have your sheets, and then you lay this on top of that. And you can wash them. So you have two in there, so one is in the wash and one you're using. These are great because after your surgery and after your lymphatic massages, you are leaking all over the place. This creates an extra protection for your bed and your mattress. There are three items that I did not show and those are special order, but they are included in your bag. These items are your robe, slippers, and a loose fitting dress, Tinkle Bell. This is your female urination device. After you've had your surgery and your BBL, you cannot sit. This allows you to stand over the toilet and use the bathroom to urinate without having to sit down. How great is that? So your kit will have this in there. There's directions on the back on how to use it. It's very easy and it's very convenient. Let's not forget to add, after your surgery, you can use this in public bathrooms or when you're out and you can't get to a bathroom. Shh, don't tell them I told you that secret. Stary strips. So your doctor might use this on you after your surgery. It acts as a great protection between your skin where you've had the surgery and any other material and stuff that might rub against it. So it's always great to have steri strips. A journal. We use the journal to keep track of your medications, the times, the amounts, how often that you're supposed to take it. You jot this all down if you have somebody that's taking care of you and they might switch out. They'll be able to see when the last medicine was administered, if you're asleep, whatever, and you're gonna be very groggy, so you're not gonna remember the last time that you took medicine, so it's great to have this journal. Also, the journal can be used to jot down your day-to-day. -day. You wanna keep track of everything that happened, you wanna keep a journal of your surgery and on all the people that were involved. It's great to have a journal to keep track of stuff. Magnesium hydroxide. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a lot of pain medicine and the pain medicine causes constipation. So you'll need to have a laxative to counteract that. So we have these inside of your kit. Clorox wipes and hand sanitizer. We need to make sure that our space is clean, especially with COVID and any other bacteria, you don't wanna get a staph infection. So your kit will have Clorox wipes. So if you're staying in a hotel or staying at an Airbnb or somebody else's place, where you're gonna be, bathrooms, um, doorknobs, any, any counter, high touch areas, use your Clorox wipes, wipe everything down. So when you come from surgery, you don't have to worry about that. Of course, it's always great to have hand sanitizer.